Back at quarterback for the Cats. A little bit of option with Persa. He keeps it to the, this time. Second and 11. Persa pressured and he gets dropped by Craig Rowe. Well, Martin and everybody else on that play on the defensive front, that pocket collapsed in a heartbeat. And you could see that Dan Persa didn't have anywhere to go. They had him for Persa. Gets hit as he throws, and he throws in. Eber down the middle of the field, but you can see Michigan running the twist, and Van Bergen comes through and just gets a huge hit on Dan Purse. You can see Ebert in the background trying to get a penalty, but that hit. Now you've got the Michigan defense that's rested up a little bit. He dumps it to Dunsmore, who takes it up to the 20. Empty backfield now for Purse. And he sprints out to throw. Complete to Ebert out to Northwestern. First and ten for the Wildcats. And now they go out to Ebert. He's got great blocking from Dunsmore. Takes it. Tough to find a sub in an up-tempo offense. Person steps up, throws. Batted. And picked off. Intercepted. They had a good play call on right here, and the ball just bounces off the pads of Dunsmore, and it's just an outstanding play. That ball might have hit the turf. I wouldn't be surprised if the officiating crew takes another look at this one. You can see that the person trying to go back to work. Jacob Schmidt has it in his hands and he powers his way event by the Wolverines defense. Person looking towards Schmidt on the sideline and he takes it past the 30. So at some point they won't be able to sit back on their heels and just watch Dan Person complete passes. Here's Ebert who turns around on the slant, takes it past the four. And yards, he's going to take it every day of the week. Straight ahead, Benrick Mark, who is in a tailback. Now empty backfield. Persa looking for a deep ball. He's got Ebert who has a step. And that was just a hair under throw. Really matched up against the best receiver. And you can see him and Ebert fighting right here. Right at the last second, the jarring with the hands right there is what the official called. If he would have turned around and tried to make a play earlier on the football, but you can see a little bit too much hands there by J.T. Floyd. Catch down by 11, trying to come back. Here's Ebert again on the long swing pass. And he gets folded up, lost the football, covered. The Michigan defense has had at least two turnovers in every game this season. And you can see when the game comes down at the line, right at the end, Kenny Demons, along with Thomas Gordon, strip. And Persa out of the shotgun. Goes underneath, and big game for Kane Colts. Phone, so expect maybe Coulter to get more involved here this series. All right, thanks, Lisa. Here's Ebert is getting involved in the offense now. And here is Mark. Jet sweep. He's going backwards again. Now he turns it upfield and mark his pass midfield. It's able to pick up a positive play. Second down, Persa back, and he finds Ebert once again for a Northwestern. In half is gone for Northwestern. They've got to get some points on the board. Persa steps up. He's got plenty of room in front of him, and he tried against Iowa. Double, nope, this is Ebert coming in. A weird personnel situation there before the trip side of the field. And it's third down, key down for Northwestern. Persa stands tall, lets it go, knocked away. Pressure coming, Kovacs, he lost his helmet. Persa still alive and he lets it go. Incomplete. Pressure there by the Michigan defense. Jordan Kovacs is the one that comes in. And you can see the pressure right there. And that's what Pat Fitzgerald is screaming about. He feels like Kovacs ripped his helmet off from his face mask. But this point right here, and here's another look at it right here. It's tough to tell from that angle. A sportsman-like conduct. The Northwestern bench. Three for Northwestern. So five wide spread look for person. Trying to get something quick. And he's flushed and will let this one go. It's o'clock, but it's all about their next opponent. Nobody, coaches or players, can talk about the previous game. Here's Schmidt on the reception from Purse. who tries to get out of bounds. Fourth and set. Purse over the middle, incomplete. That's of how this turns out. There's a lot to be positive about for Northwestern. Well, they've got so many options on offense, one being Kane Coulter right there. To keep defenses on their heels with Kane Coulter and Dan Persa in the ballgame together or with one of them on the sidelines.
the building all afternoon. And they'll be with you under the lights here at Ryan Field. Schmidt again picks up another big game for Northwestern and again will stop the clock. Man, tight here, obviously this this ball game is pretty much over, but Persa and company keep moving that football down the field. And now Persa five and zero last year, and won just two of his final eight. Catch made by Donna Smith, and he will be wrapped up. Their season has finished at the Rose Bowl. I'm sure, Brady Hoke and his staff would like to see that one continue. We saw that question mark on the his last statistics as far as their finish, but they are off to a pretty. Colts are quarterback now for Northwestern. Coulter steps up. He wants to run for it. He's got some daylight, but he'll be stopped at the one.